everyone. This is Avali May for Yahoo Esports, and I am here with Laura Lowe from Team Liquid. Laura Lowe, how are you? I'm doing okay. Doing okay? Yeah. Um, so you guys just came off of that loss against Immortals. Can you tell me a little bit about how those games went from your perspective? Yes, yeah, so going to the Immortals set, we had a lot of things that we need to iron up from the C9 set, and we didn't play to our comp whatsoever in the first game. We got completely smashed because they had an early game to mid game pick comp, and we just like tried to fight for no reason and just... It just fell over. And then the second game, it just came down to communication issues, and we didn't execute on it just a major objective like Baron and Dragon, and we just got punished for it. So I saw your Cloud9 games, and those were some actually pretty close sets. Um, what did you guys do separate, differently in that game? Um, so it wasn't like we changed our game plan whatsoever. It's just like we didn't have the right mindset going into today because we had a slow scaling comp in the first game, and we just played aggressive, and that just leads to them snowballing and rolling over. And if we played the comp how it's supposed to be played, then the game would have been way different. And we had a competitive game, game two, we just made some mistakes and couldn't execute properly. And the set should have been way closer than uh, that we showed, so. What do you think Team Liquid as a whole can do to ensure you guys a spot in the playoffs over the next few weeks? Um, yeah, so we still have a lot of things to work on. I think it's mostly still communication because I think all five of our players are really uh, intelligent on t in terms of how to play the map and how to play just like lane phase in general. So it's just like meshing as five still. And like I think the main focus for this week is just communi uh, communication and ironing that down. And once that happens, it's definitely going to be a hopefully a different iteration of Liquid and we can like be a contender for playoffs. What are some of the communication issues that you have faced that have maybe altered your game? Yeah, so when I think about communication, uh, it just comes down to the fact that there's things that need to be say, uh, said when we're um, pressuring around Baron and Dragon and making sure that the right things are being said, like just like if they're TPing here, if we have the, uh, enough vision control. It's just like basic general communication that we're missing, and it's leading to them just like snowballing on us. So you guys have had St. Vicious come out as your strategic coach at the beginning of the split. He's kind of been a little bit behind scenes. We haven't heard from him. How has he been uh, changing Team Liquid? Yeah, so St. Vicious is, I think, really beneficial to the org, org because he just helps in a way that I think, I guess, a little bit like a local figure last year because he's hard on players and he also just like has that strategic aspect to the team as well. And he's watched a lot of odds. So we're like always on top of like LCK games, LPL games, and we just always have like, I guess, a little we always have a good grasp of the meta, so it's really nice to have him around. And I have to ask, you played against Dardock today. I know you guys are super close friends. What was it like playing against a friend? Yeah, so honestly, it didn't feel that much different on stage. Like after we got in game, I'm like, it's just like any other game. But I think I was a little excited just going into it because just knowing that I'm playing versus yeah, someone I'm really close to. And yeah, it was obviously pretty disappointing that I lost. I at least wanted to win versus yeah, just anyone, and also it just means more if I win versus him. So it was just really disappointing for me overall today. Did you guys have any friendly bets going? Like, you buy dinner tonight, or? No, we didn't do anything like that, but maybe, maybe next time. What do you think about um, a lot of the trash talk that he's been dishing out? I know before he had a little bit of trash talk towards Team Liquid. Um, That's just him. That's just the Josh way, to be honest. It's like he can, he can say what he wants as long as he, like, can show it, then I respect him for it, but make sure he can show with his play and then, yeah, do whatever. <laughs> well, do you have anything that you'd like to say to your Team Liquid fans or Lorlo fans out there? Um, Yeah, just keep supporting us. I know, like, 2-6 start is obviously not what anyone was expected, and just make sure that you guys keep supporting us because we're going to keep working hard and we're not going to stop here yet. Well, thank you again so much for this interview. Really appreciate it. And for everyone else, you can check out more of our coverage at Yahoo Esports.